Hey Overcomers, I hope you're all having an amazing morning. And it's amazing because like, I truly believe God gives me downloads. And there's sometimes where I'm like, okay, I'm inspired. And it's like, I have to share this. Faith, and you've heard me say this before, faith is the ultimate life hack. Faith is the thing that's going to help you to override the circumstances of life, to overcome any challenge in your life. Because as believers, when you read the word of God, you understand that we are spirit, soul, and body, right? We are spirit, but we are housed in a body and we have a soul, like when you pass on. And we know in the beginning of the word in Genesis, it says that God created the world with his word, right? It says, in the beginning, God said, and he said, there was darkness upon the face of the deep. And then God said, let there be light. And then there was light. And God thought it, God spoke it, and then he saw what he said. In the same manner, because we are his creation, he is our creator. We are his creation. We are his children. We have the DNA of God inside of us. Just like those of us, we all that are here as humans, we all have earthly parents. Uh, you know, I'm not here to get into the whether the relationship you have with them or not, but each person that is born on this earth came from a mom and dad, came from parents, right? And those of us that are parents, our children have our DNA inside of them also. So here's the thing. Because we are made in God's image, there's nothing you cannot do, okay? And when you read the promises of God, when you read his word, you study his word, and God said that if you will say to the mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea, and if you do not doubt in your heart, you will have what you say. In order to overcome challenges, you need to walk by faith and not by sight, no matter what it looks like in this outer world. And I'm telling you, here's the thing. The world would want you to not live by the word, by the promises of God in his word, okay? The world would rather have you in a state of confusion, in a state of anxiety, in a state of worry, in a state of fear. That's a big, big one. These last few years, fear. There's so much fear-based things pushed out. And as I told you, they understand how the mind works. They know that our thoughts create. That's how powerful we are. That if you would change your thoughts, you would literally change your life. You are one decision, one thought away. Ooh, thank you, God. One thought away from changing your life. But the key is you have to go within. You have to block out this 3D, this outer world. Okay? Because the outer world, if you just... Here's the thing. A lot of people, what I realized, as I, like I said, in this life, we are to live this life and we are to live it abundantly, according to God's word. We're not here to live a life of strain, struggle, and stress. If you really sit back and you think about the miracle of life, how all of us came into being, those of us that are parents, like the, it's a miracle. I look at my son every day and I thank God for him. He's a brilliant kid. I'm like, I thank you, Lord, for my son. And the thing is, it's like when you look at that and you, you realize, you start to realize like, oh my gosh, like how amazing we are humanity. And then you look at God's creation. You look at the birds of the air. You, you go by the water, the fish of the sea. Just amazing. God's creation, the plants, like the flowers, all by God's design, if you believe that. So here's the thing. You have to walk by faith. That's how you overcome these circumstances. Because when you start to walk by faith, you start to live life from an empowered state and not a victim state. You start to live as the victor that God created us to be instead of a victim. In his word, he said, we are more than conquerors. More than, he doesn't just say we are conquerors, more than, that means it supersedes, it's above and beyond. But you have to walk by faith and not by sight. As I shared with you, a couple years ago, when everything was like the way it was on the land, there was so much fear. It was so, it was like palpable. For those of us that are very discerning, you can pick up the fear. You can sense fear in people. But 
Here's the thing, God encourages us to walk by faith and not by sight. And his word says, whatsoever things are true and lovely and of good report, think on these things. I love how he says things that are of good report because a lot of times the things that are constantly pushed to the masses and pushed out there to ma in mainstream is it's filled with bad reports. And it's amazing how God's word says to think on these things, things that are of a good report. Because God knows how he created us, that our minds literally create our lives. Your life follows your thoughts. So if you're in a constant state of negativity, if you look at, you know, they give um, that metaphor of the glasses, you know, half full or half empty, depending upon your perspective on life, depends. it, it depends on what will show up in your life. So if you're focused on, oh, you know, life is so bad, things are so difficult, um, you focus on lack. This is why I tell you, if you are in a financial bondage, I don't know who this is for, if you are in a financial crisis, financial bondage, stop talking about lack. That's why you're staying in that state. It's because you keep talking about it, so it just perpetuates. Start to speak life, start to speak abundance, speak health, speak wealth. Couple years back, when the crisis was all about health, I never, out of my mouth, never declared sickness. In fact, I never get sick. Like, I never, never spoke sickness when they were trying to portray fear and, and people were like, oh my God, they're so scared of this and they're so scared of that and this is happening that, no. I just said that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Psalm 91, a very powerful protection psalm. So if you are a person who's fearful, a person that's scared of this world, a person that's scared of the next headlines, whatever it is, I would encourage you to meditate and read Psalm 91. We are here to live an abundant life, to live a glorious life to live your, out your heart's desires, to see your dreams come to pass, to see that vision that God gave you came, come to pass. You're not here to live a life of strain, struggle, and stress. What would be the point? You think about the miracle of life, to be born on this earth and then just like live life in constant state of negativity and stress and then up and die. Like, what would be the point? This is why I encourage you to read God's words, study his words, study the promises of God. And then when you study like the great thinkers of our time, books by like Neville Goddard, Joseph Murphy, Earl Nightingale, Florence Scovel Shin. There's so many great Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. All of these books are based on mindset, but guess what? All of these books are based on the Bible. And I'll never forget, I have a, a great friend who is, um, She's like a personal development coach. She speaks worldwide. She's a keynote speaker. She does amazing things. And she was saying how a lot of these great books, even in entrepreneurship and in business, you know, when you read and study the principles that they're teaching, it's based on the word. So I just want to encourage you that you're here to live an amazing life. Faith is the thing that's going to help you to overcome the circumstances of life. Faith is going to be the thing that's going to keep your feet planted. When the world is shaken and rattled and going crazy and this is happening, faith, this is why you have to be rooted because I'm telling you, if you are not rooted like these trees that are out there, rooted solid into the ground, if you're not rooted in who you are, who God says you are, who God says you can be, who God says the things that you can achieve and do, you will be swayed to and fro by everything that is in this world. And we know what the word says. It says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Because if you're not planted in your faith and planted in knowing who God created you to be and to know that we are supposed to be consciously creating our lives moment by moment, thinking and speaking our life into existence and speaking the best over our lives. If you're not 
doing that, you're going to be moved by everything. They're going to say, like, they are going to say this, and then you're going to run and do that. They're going to say that, and then you're going to run over here, and then you're going to run there, and you no. We're supposed to be planted, being like that tree, right? The word says, like the tree that's planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in due season. See, when you stay planted, it's another download. When you stay planted, you produce fruit. There's, there's fruit on your life. People will sell, tell you, wow, looks like you're, you know, your life is elevating, you're flourishing because you're planted. You, when you look at people's lives who are really planted in who God is calling them to be, you're going to see that they're flourishing. And another thing I want to tell you, there's enough for everybody. Don't let this world lie to you and say, oh, there's lack. We run it out. No, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So with that, there is no competition. There's a lane just for you. God has made a lane just for you, a clear path for you to walk in, to walk down, to push towards. But the key is you're going to have to be like this. As I tell you, put those spiritual blinders on and walk by faith and not by sight. This life is a faith walk is a faith walk every time. And here's the thing, why am I so passionate about it? Is because I know faith works. That's why I'm so passionate about faith and imagination. I know it works. I've seen miracles happen in my life. I've seen miracles happen in other people's lives just by walking by faith and not by sight. The Bible says we are in this world, but we're not of this world. The word says many are called, few are chosen. And those of us, you, if you know, you know, there's like a mandate. There's a call on your life that you you cannot just like live life. I call it on the surface. And when you don't go deep and you don't walk in your faith and you don't do not operate with discernment, you're living life on the surface and you're not looking beyond what's happening. Okay. So it's so important that you, in order to overcome the challenges of life, it's going to take faith. It's going to take faith. And I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy. Why? Because I'm walking by I'm walking my faith right now. I'm living this life too. And life does come with challenges. It does come with ups and downs. It does come with sometimes stress. But when you start to learn how to walk by faith, how to consciously create your life, how to really speak life over your life, and you start to see things change and show up and manifest in your life, it encourages you to do it more. That's why I'm so passionate about faith because like once you see evidence, once I start to see evidence of my faith, and as I told you years ago, certain testimonies, and the more I use my faith and walk by faith and imagination and things just start coming in like this, it encourages me like, yes, this is how we're supposed to be living life. We're not supposed to be living life by the latest headlines, by the latest news report, by the latest whatever this person said. And a lot of times, while people are well-meaning, they mean well, but sometimes they do not operate by faith and they don't understand. They themselves have yet to experience evidence of faith. So how can they encourage you in faith? That's like asking someone to... Um, appreciate your vision or to understand your vision and yet they don't have a vision for their life for themselves or you're asking someone to encourage you in like a health and wellness journey and yet they are not disciplined in that area of their life themselves or you're asking someone you're seeking someone out for like Find, like to encourage you like to get disciplined in finances and learning about saving and investing and, and entrepreneurship and yet they don't they don't have discipline in that area so here's the thing another key is besides walking by faith surround yourself with people that are going where you want to go people that are going to speak life people that are going to fuel life into your vision into your dream into your goal because when you surround yourself with people like that, it's going to cause your mind to expand. It's going to cause your mind 
to expand, to think bigger, to think higher. Remember his word says, whatsoever things are lovely and of good report to think on these things. So as you think on these things, it causes your thoughts, your mind to go in a different, in a different direction than if you had not spoke that thing, if that makes any sense. So once you start to think like, wow, you know about the possibilities, oh, you know, great things are coming my way. Oh, I'm envisioning this, I'm believing for that. All of a sudden, you may be just out in your daily goings about, running errands or whatever, and you run into someone and maybe a conversation is, you know, you strike up a conversation or this person starts talking to you about something. And then all of a sudden, they connect you to somebody that can help you with that very thing. But see, you have to put your mind in the, in the thought pattern of that. And this is why you have to be, like I tell you, be the gatekeeper of your mind. Be the gatekeeper of your mind. Because as you be the gatekeeper of your mind and control your thoughts and are able to just focus on the things that you need to focus on, that is when things will start to show up in your life. Okay, so I didn't mean for this video to be so long, but really I just, the gist of it is that faith is the ultimate life hack. We're here to live an amazing life. You're here to have the things that you desire, your dreams, your goal, your vision come to pass, but you're going to have to walk by faith. I hope this message encouraged you today. I pray it blessed you and empowered you. Always be an overcomer.